All engines go. Hero of the whales, the movie. Here comes Thomas on the number one engine. Whoa! All engines go. Woohoo! Coming through. Woohoo! Down the hills and around the world. All engines go. Hero of the Whales. It was summer on Sodo. The sky was bright blue. The fields were full of flowers. And the birds sang sleep. As Thomas filled up with water, he felt really happy. Suddenly, there was a whoosh and a whoosh and a crackety crank. As the sleek and silver wore by on the track. Filling fireboxes. What was that? Said Thomas. All over Soto. Thomas put in stood on their tracks. Bubbling oil, said Diesel. Bust my buffer, said Percy. Watch my paint work, said Connor. Later, Thomas and his friends were naffered. They were very puzzled. He was big, said Percy. He was long and silver, said Connor. He was very fast, said Diesel. That must mean, said Thomas. It's Spencer. Hello, Sodor. What, what do you know? I'm here for the summer. Why, said Thomas. I have a very important job to do. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford are having their new summer house built. It had to be even for the Duke and Duchess's holiday. I'm very busy, no time to chat. And Spencer seems snuggling away. Sinners and Ashes! Having Speedy Spencer on soda for one day is bad, said Thomas. But for the whole summer, Sir Percy is terrible, said Connor. That afternoon, Percy was puffing him up Gordon's Hill. Oh, with Connor's Hill with the truck. And Spencer whooshed behind her. A little more puffing. You might make it by the top by two times. Bossy boy was a pussy. Next, Spencer caught up with Connor. On my way, Connor. A dear dignity. Diesel was having to a junction. Spencer steamed alongside you. Who didn't? Who did? It looks like, it looks like you are too old now really to be really Toby. useful, Diesel. Diesel gasped. He was upset. He missed his, he missed green, his light. green light. Thomas was pushing in the inquiry bell. Spencer's slow. It takes one engine to pull these coaches. I'm pulling five coaches, and Spencer's thunders out. Don't talk about it. That's what Annie yes, Clever. They were cross. They couldn't pass it on. That night, that night the, engines the engines could only could talk, talk about, about Spencer. Spencer. He told Toby he, told he was too me. old. He, he, he is taking over, over my express line. He'll never have a shiny coach like mine. He'll never have manners. Never have manners. Spencer's, Spencer's scary. Spencer's scary. Spencer's scary. Spencer's scary. Spencer's scary. The next day, Thomas was at Blendham Docks. He had the heavy flap and the machinery to collect. Spencer was there. He was being coupled up to five flatbeds of building materials. Dear, oh dear, Thomas. It's just as well the Duke and Duchess don't have a tiny toy tank engine like you. The summer house will never be finished. What do you mean, Sir Thomas? I mean, Thomas, you just, just can't pull every, every load. Thomas, Thomas was upset, upset. and so were the other engines. This time, Spencer has gone too far. Yes, I can. 
I can pull just a heavy load to see you. Yes, he can, said Percy. Even heavier. Thomas is not a toy, said Diesel. He's a really useful engine, said Connor. And he's really strong, too, said Diesel. The solar engine didn't scare Spencer. An idea had bubbled in his boiler. Very well, Thomas. Very Thomas. Meet me tomorrow at dawn. At the shunting yards. We will have a contest of strength. We will each pull heavy loads and see who can pull it for longer and for further. And Spencer slid silently out of the darkness. Suddenly, Thomas felt very worried. Bust my buffers. I can do this. Spencer will win the contest to swing. The other engine saw that their friend was worried. You're the number one engine I sold all. But you also Spencer. But solo engines are more special than he is. I know that because you're my best friend. Thomas looked at his best friend, Percy. Percy believed in him. I will let's meet Spencer as Don, and I will win. Thomas thought about what a heavy load he can hear, and he thought a good one. The next morning at the cool ice dawn, Thomas and his friends waited for Spencer. As Connor being lifted to his flatbed, they see slick like a silver engine on it. They wish Spencer. Thomas felt worried. I can't do this, Percy. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Thomas. Is this a good idea, said Connor? Yes, said Thomas. Percy said you could tell us what when you know we can do. Are you sure, Thomas, this is a good idea? Yes, said Thomas. The tracks are quick. These are all platforms. You will each take different tracks around the island. You may only stop for coal and water. And diesel. Oh no, oh no. Hark! And the contest has begun. Spencer and St. Thomas and has my recon. Thomas puff for heave and a half. I can do it. Our puffs no longer. Also, Spencer, I really am stronger. Connor said, This is a good idea. Spencer smiled. He soon went. Also, Thomas, who's strong and who's weak. He'll puff home with a squeak and a creak. The other engines watch and worried. Then they blow their whistle and horn. And Juan gets run. Good night, Thomas, Connor. Thomas, Connor, Spencer. Chef with the iron. They quit the crack around the tracks. They whoosh and whoosh. They have the pills. Spencer steamed and smiled. He reached and he wore. Thomas puff and huff. He heaved and he hauled. Silly little engine. When will he win? You can do whatever you want to. And I want to win, said Thomas. Thomas was puffing. Papa sleep. Oh, he was puffing and and he yeah, was Axel say he, he, he reached the top. Hooray. I did it, said Thomas. Then there was trouble. There was a clang and a clang. Thomas gasped. Since it's an ashes, Connor, I broke in my brakes. Thomas's wheels started to whirl and to wobble. He grew faster. Faster down the hill with Connor. Oh no no help 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 said so those two with Thomas race downhill and round the neck. Help I can't stop so Thomas Thomas is every freak out pushing on and on. Who was jumping while Spencer was was my boy and into some potato cups. Potatoes bounce everywhere. Thomas went not into a flatbed of jelly. Sticky jelly flew in the yeah. And landed all over Thomas and Connor. And then he went back. He found him going out into an old wickedy track. I had Thomas be a wall a bush with Connor. And Connor, I got his dog. And Thomas and Connor crashed into bushes. They came to a stop. Fizzling fire boxes. That was scary. Thomas and Connor looked around. After the racing and rattling, it was very quiet. Spencer will be back at the shunting yard now, and he'll be puffing with pride because he won the contest. And my best friend Percy will be wondering where I am. Yeah, said Connor. I don't know where we are. Everything was very quiet. Thomas and Connor didn't know what to do. Then they heard a voice. 
Hello. Thomas, looked Thomas and Connor looked there around. Was no there. there was no one there. Wait, hardly he waited really harder during the puff. Hello. Thomas, looked Thomas and Connor looked around again. They couldn't see anyone. The voice seems to, to be coming from the bushes. Very slowly, Very slowly. Thomas and Connor puffed forward into the bushes. The branches cracked and crunch. Then Thomas and Connor gasped. Their eyes popped wider with wonder. There, on the other side of the bushes, was a very old engine. It was very broken and rusty. Thomas and Connor felt scared. They didn't dare speak. Then their old engine smiled at him. It was a little frightened smile, but it made the old engine look kind and gentle, and it made Thomas and Connor feel less scared. Hello. Too bad your brakes failed. Doesn't that always happen when you're on a hill, you two? The whole... The old Thomas engine smiled again. Smile Thomas and Connor wanted to smile too, but they were skilled. They didn't know whether to speak to for help, to for help or waste backwards as fast as they could. Chuff. But Thomas, but Thomas and Connor didn't know. And they didn't move. They couldn't engine. take their eyes off from the extraordinary engine. Hello, my name, Hello my name is Thomas, and this is my friend Connor. My, oh, my name is Hero. Thomas, Thomas and Connor sure wasn't sure what to say next. He never met an engine as old and strange as Hero. Why are you here? here? So Thomas, where have you been? Uh, yeah, said Connor. That's a very long story. story. Do you, like Do you like stories, stories Thomas? Thomas? Yes, yes, said Thomas. The little engines in the hills, the hills tell me stories all the time. Then, then I hope you like this mine. one of mine. I came here a long, long time ago from another island. I was one of the first steam engines to arrive on Sodor. Thomas and Connor were amazed. Where is your island, Sir Connor? Yes, Sir Thomas. My island is in Japan, a long, long way away. There was mountains and snow and sea. There were lots of railways. I was the strongest engine at home. I was called Master of the Railway in Japan. How did you get to Sodo? I came in a very big ship. The journey lasted many days and we sailed to many seas. When I arrived at the docks, I didn't work out on my home. What was so the like then? It was very quiet. I was the only engine on Sodo. They called me Mascow the Railway here too. I was very happy. What happened? I started to break down. The mechanics didn't have parts for me. So, I was put in a siding. I had to wait for the parts for my island. I waited and waited. And now, I'm sure the parts will never come. We'll be right back in the movie called All Engines Go, Hero of the Wheels, so stick around, because more of Hero of the Wheels are coming up. And now back to the movie called All Engines Go, Hero of the Wheels, Hero of the Wheels. Thomas and Connor, eyes will wide with wonder. Do you miss your home, Sir Thomas? Yes, Sir Connor. Yes, I do, Sir Hero. I miss being master of the railway. Thomas looked at his sad new friend. He felt sorry for Hero. Well, we'll go and get Sir Topham Hat. Sir Topham Hat runs our railway now. You know how to help you. No! See that the was new friend, who once master of the railway, was now old, was now old alone, alone, and scared. And scared. So, Thomas so Thomas and Connor waited and made a decision. Oh, we will work out you, Hero. We won't tell Sir Thomas Manhattan until you are fixed. You are safe with us. 
I'm sure we'll find the parts to fix you. I promise we will make you a really useful engine once more. We will make you master the railway again, said Thomas and Connor. He will smile the biggest smile he had ever smiled in a long, long time. Thank you, Thomas and Connor. Thank you for looking after me. Thomas and Connor puffed with pride. Later that morning, Thomas and Connor were at the Soto Steamworks. Thomas was having his brakes fixed, and Connor would be loaded off of flatbeds. Thomas and Connor liked the Steamworks. Their husband was running around with and manners. It was lively, friendly, and there was Victor. Thomas and Connor liked Victor. Thomas and tell me, my friend, what are you doing there in the middle of nowhere? 47 world of cars and flatbeds. Are you crazy? And Connor, why were you on the flatbed? Don't. Wait. When Thomas was pulling you, next time Spencer tells you what to do, do something silly, do give me a favor, say, say no. no. Okay, okay, Victor, said Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas and Connor almost forgot, Connor forgot the yes, contest with Spencer. Their boy was her bubbling over. They didn't want to tell Victor, but they knew they, but they, knew they couldn't. Right Other engines and might hear, and then some of mine tells us to have a hat. So there you are, Thomas and Connor, walking down, I see some flatbeds and must be having you, and Connor putting you on there is good. Morning, Spencer. Good job. So Thomas, Spencer was me. He was Thomas to be chewing. What did you say? I said good morning, Mr. Thomas, and well done. Yeah, said Connor. I, I, do you have a job to do, Spencer, or you're just gonna stand here gossiping? You're taking up a lot of track. Spencer was shocked. No one speaks to me like that. Then Spencer, then Spencer slid away, sneering. Uh, he's, he's all silver steam and bossy boy with that one. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Thomas and Connor laughed. They like Victor. Okay, my friend, okay, my friend you're all fixed. We stay, we stay with Mr. Silverstein. Sir Topham Hat, you you on your branch line. line. Thank, you, Thank you, Victor, Victor said Thomas. Um, Kevin, Kevin what, are you doing? what are you doing? How many times do I have to tell you we don't drop things, you lower things? Slowly, slowly, gently, gently. Yes, boss. Yes, Sorry, boss. I was trying, boss, just to slip with my hook. Behind Kevin, Tom and Connor saw something very interesting. A wagon with an old piston cylinder on it. That would be good for heroes, Thomas. Yeah, said Connor. I wonder if Victor will let us have it. Come on, Connor, let's go. Thomas and Connor puffed away excitedly. That knew Thomas was busy on his branch line. He wanted to finish his jobs as fast as he could puff. Tell me about the contest, Thomas. I'm sorry, Percy. I can't stop, Thomas. I have so much to do. I'll tell you all about it later. Percy was disappointed by then, Thomas. Wait, Connor and Thomas puff after the Soto Steamworks. They were pleased to see it was very quiet. What's going to happen to that old cylinder, Victor? That keep tracks. It's just taking up space. Shall we take it away for you, said Connor? Yeah, said Thomas. Aren't you too busy, our friend? My friends. No, Connor said we can take it easy. Yeah, said Thomas. Is right helping hook. No, thank you, Kevin. So Thomas and Connor were coupled up to the flatbed. They chuffed cheerfully along towards the track that led to Hero. When they heard the crowd of wheels and the hissing of a big engine behind them. It's Spencer, said Thomas. We don't want him us to see it. We wonder what we're doing with this old cylinder. We have to hide, said Connor. Thomas and Connor have uh, him hands and hands and hands. The boy will bubble as he they slowed into a stop. Tall trees hit Thomas and Connor in the main line. They came closer and closer. The wall came closer and closer. Then Spencer stopped. And reverse. He was on the other side of the trees of Thomas and Connor. Thomas and Connor hardly dare puff. Hmm. Never mind, said Spencer. But. That was close. Hero was very happy to see Thomas and Connor. 
Thomas and Connors engineer and their assistant unloaded the old cylinder. Tomorrow, Tomorrow Hero will come back and we can start to work. We have to go to back to Tim the and Shets now. The other engines will be wondering where we are. Thank you, Thomas and Connor. Thomas and Connor smile and they steam quickly away. They puff back to Tidmouth. They chuffed around the bend. Then they gasp. Cinders and ashes, Connor. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford Summer House, yes, Mom. It's very close to Hero's hiding place, said Thomas. Yeah, said Connor. Spencer will be here every day. If Spencer finds out about Hero, he sure to tell us the top of her. And then Hero is sure to be scrapped. We must be very, very careful, said Thomas. Yeah, said Connor. That night, Thomas told his friends about his contest with Spencer. Connor and Thomas were going to tell him about Hero when Sir Topham had arrived. Tomorrow, you all have a very busy day. Your job will start especially early. So, Thomas and Connor, don't puff around the island pouring heavy loads or any other silly ideas. I need really useful engines, not really broken ones. Yes, sir, said so Thomas and Connor. Now, Thomas and Connor didn't tell his friends about he will. So, Topham and has broken, no broken engines. The next day, the next day Thomas, Thomas had a very busy morning, but, morning, but they weren't happy. They wanted to be, they with, wanted Hero. To be with Hero. Just then, Percy puffed Just up. Then, Percy puffed up. You look worried, Thomas. You look worried, Thomas. Thomas. What's the matter, Thomas said Percy? Thomas, Thomas looked at his best friend. He already told Percy everything. I found, I found oldest old an old engine on shoulder with Connor. His name is Hero. Hero. That's, my That's my buffer, said Percy. Where? Well, I'll show you later, Sir Thomas, I promise. He needs us to look after him. Will you help me? Of course I will, Thomas, the person. What can I do? We appreciate the flap and the farm machinery. So if I'm going to call him, what can I do with my mail call? Read them somewhere safe. Someone right off the track. Waiter, you can do it with the mail, Sir Thomas. Now I must shuffle away the hero as quickly as I can. Percy was excited. He was happy to help Thomas. Percy had puffed a long way. He was on tracks he didn't know. He was looking for somewhere to hide his mail cars. I must find somewhere or I run off the train. My cars must be safe until I get mail. This will be good, Percy. This is the perfect place to leave my cars. No one will find them here. No one will find them here. Thomas and Connor have halfway towards Hero Sideout. They were so busy thinking about Hero that they didn't see Spencer steaming up behind them. What are you doing here, Thomas and Connor? We're a long way, way from your branch line, Thomas. We're on, on our way to Brenham Docks. So Thomas, yeah, Sir Connor. Thomas and Connor waste away from Spencer and the summer house as quickly as their pistons were pumped. This is very strange. Very strange indeed. Thomas and Connor didn't dare chuff the hero until much later. I thought you two weren't coming. Connor, yeah, to Thomas. And Thomas and Connor's engineer and assistant engineers had opened their toolboxes and they started to work. Soon, Hero's piston rods were in place. Uh, we'll come back with more parts for you, Hero, to Thomas. Yeah, to Connor. Thank you, Thomas and Connor. Please don't get into trouble for me. I'm an old engine. And we will make you new again, to Thomas. Yeah, to Connor. Bye, Hero, said Thomas and Connor. Thomas and Connor were puffing home as fast as their pistons were pumped. They were late. They had to puff past the summer house. Thomas and Connor, you're up to something, you two, aren't you? Thomas and Connor didn't answer. They chuff away. Spencer followed close behind them. Thomas and Connor were going past. Then they saw Percy at the water tower. Percy was sent. 
We uh, hopped off how we were on machine we Thomas the Carnival calling for their friend. Spencer has followed them. They steam to a stop. They steam to a stop. Dear old dear Percy, you should, you should wear stronger and gym poor heavy roads. Spencer chuffed on. on. I'm sorry, Percy. So Thomas, me too. They can't. You were helping me. Me, so Thomas. Now you broke it down. I'm worried, Thomas. I still haven't delivered the mail. So top and half will be crossed. Don't worry, Percy. Tomorrow, me and Connor will help you. We'll shunt you to the solo steamworks. Victor will have you fixed in no time. All the way to the solo steamworks. The the three friends are chatting and chuckle about you out. The Soto Steamworks were quiet. Victor was very surprised to see Thomas and, and Connor Tuffin with Percy. What happened now, my friends? We asked Percy to pour a special for us. His vow popped right into port yourself. Um, because I, so Thomas, uh, because he's a Percy. Okay. Kevin! Slowly, slowly, gently, gently. Sorry, boss. Just a slip of the hook. Ah, I know, Kevin. Then Thomas and Connor saw the old parts. They knew Hero needed them. They knew they would have to tell Victor about Hero. Victor, said Thomas, we need your help. Yes, Connor, we need your help. So Percy, I'll always help you, my friend. But it isn't you need. So Thomas and Connor told Victor about Hero. Victor. Victor was amazed. Very good. After looking after another engine is very important, especially looking after an old engine, said Victor. Tell us to tell us the top of No! We can't do that yet, said Thomas. He was old and broken. So top of half might had to scrap him. But we make he really useful again. So Connor, he won't, said Thomas. Okay, I understand, said Victor. But if I put in this corner of the yard, you can take. Thomas and Connor and Percy were very happy. Thank you, Victor, said Thomas. Okay, Percy, your turn to be fixed. That evening, Thomas and Connor puffed into Titman's sheds. So Top and Half was waiting. He was cross. Thomas and Connor! I hear Percy was pulling your special and started doing it in the mail. And now Percy's mail cards are missing. Thomas and Connor felt bad. We were sorry, sir, said Connor. Yeah, said Thomas. We don't know where Percy's mail cards are. We will help Percy find them tomorrow. That's exactly what you two will do tomorrow. By my order. Order, order, order! So I had boys who boomed around to the sheds on the top of the track. Thomas' friends, friends looked at him. They knew something was strange was going on with them. Thomas said, Diesel, is everything, is everything right? okay? Thomas said, Connor, have some news. He we need a friend's help. We have something very important, very important to, tell to tell you. As the stars sparkled up now, Thomas, Thomas told them all about Hero. The engines had never heard of such an amazing engine before. The next morning, the next morning Thomas, Thomas and Connor were really useful engines. They huffed and they puffed. They shoved and they... Spencer the house. Job done, job done. Now we must hurry. The coaches mustn't be late to Connor. Well done, Diesel. Thank you, Thomas. See you later, Connor. Thomas had to sold the steamworks. Fox blue and okay. Connor was Thomas ready to leave with Percy. Percy and Thomas and Connor smiled. Then the top of the line. He was caught. Thomas, Connor, and Percy. The mail cars are still missing. 
tomorrow, you three must find them. Yes, sir, said Connor and Percy. Of course, sir, said Thomas. Victor, to see that Thomas, Connor, and Percy were worried. Percy, you're fixed. Come on, Thomas and Connor, chew your friend up. The hero's hiding place. Percy saw hero for the first time. He gasped. <gasps> hero, this is our friend Percy, said Connor. Yeah, said Thomas. Um, hello, said Percy. Hello, Percy. Yes, I do. At home. Do you miss them? I do. I do miss them. That's sad, said Percy. Don't be sad. Look at my new funnel. Diesel brought it for me. When Diesel smiles, it changes his whole face. It's not interesting. That made Thomas Connor and Percy smile. Good night, hero, said the voice. Good night, my friends. And see until tomorrow. On the way home, the engines chuffed past the summer house. The wheels were and the boy was bubbled. Now that they saw Spencer, Spencer saw them. They were hiding in the shadows. Once they passed, they switched slightly out of the siding. I'm going to find out what the cheeky tank engine and the rocket engine are doing. It's time for Speedy Spencer to hunt for clues. In the morning, Thomas Connor puff up a person to find his mail cars. Are you sure? So Thomas, you can't remember where you left them, Percy. You, I can't think very hard, Percy, said Connor. I am, but I can only think about hero. Diesel was busy doing Thomas's jobs on his plane flight. Spencer watched. Diesel didn't take any notice of her. Why is Thomas and Percy Connor running around somehow? I don't know. Thomas is a busy engine. He puffed over the island, said Diesel. This made Spencer cross. Why are you working on Thomas's branch run? Because, as I said to Diesel, Thomas is a busy engine. Where was he busy? said Spencer. You're a big strong engine, Spencer, said Diesel. Why don't you go and work? This made Spencer dinner like this. He's still hard at Diesel. His new so hard to Thomas and Connor and Percy check along the track. Oh, did he see Diesel cut by the flap and the engine parts for Hero? That evening, Thomas, Connor, and Percy puff up to Hero's hideout. You look at me now. Hero's spoiler was finished. He was a colorful patchwork work of parts. Thomas, Connor, and Percy were very happy. You look wonderful, said Thomas. Hooray, said Connor and Percy. Thank you. But I'm worried for you. The sea line was sniffing around here last night. Still wait for a while. His friends are taking good care of me. They, these was really wise. And tomorrow I think you're coming, Percy. Percy is in my house, Connor. He's a bossy boy. No, I'm not, a Percy. Ha ha ha. The hero. For the first time. Then he rolled back to flower and slid in the hood of his funnel and mounted off his boiler. 
Ha, <laughs> said Mavis. Wait a Thomas Connor and Percy you taking on Cole. Oh, and, oh, the the engine part will be pulled by Connor. Good work, Connor. And Thomas R. Spencer. Percy gas. Percent is massive. Spencer will be pulled by Diesel. Slate Dust has blocked his funnel. Spencer had to go to his old Steamworks. Now, Thomas, Connor, and Percy can visit Hero safely. They were excited. Hero was more and more like a really useful engine. Thomas, I must be really, really useful before Sir Topham has seized me. You will be a hero, Sir Thomas, don't worry. We'll make sure of that. Yeah, Sir Connor, I agree to Sir Percy. Uh. Listen, Spencer. Look at the reason why doesn't get the job done any faster. Tomorrow you'll be fixed. Come on, give me a smile. Just to show me you can. Thomas, Percy, and Connor, pop in. Kevin! Then Victor saw that Spencer has closed his eyes because of the noise. Victor winked at Thomas and Connor. No, no problem, Kevin. Those hooks can be slippery. You're doing a good job, Kevin. Keep going. And Thomas struck quickly away from Spencer and off to Hero with his new parts. Come on, Percy and Connor, let's get out of here. Hero, what do you think, Kevin? Being alone to Connor. Yeah, to Thomas, I'm home. Since I've been talking to you and your friends about it, I miss it more than ever. Thomas and Connor understood how hard for Hero to be away from his home. You, they wanted to cheer them up. Tomorrow, Percy is going to pop across the island to get the last part we need for you. Then you will be ready. You won't have to be alone anymore. Thank you, Thomas and Connor. You will understand me well. No problem. You will also I say Patrick Hero. That next Sir Top and Hat was named for Thomas and Connor for a Tim Richard. He was called Thomas and Connor. The mail cars are still missing. Spencer is at the Soldo's theme works. The building materials for the summer houses duck at the docks. And you're not working on your brand trying, Thomas. What is going on with you two? We're sorry, sir, Sir Thomas. Yes, Connor. Tomorrow we make sure everything is put right. Tomorrow, then, Thomas and Connor. Don't worry, Thomas and Connor. To be here tomorrow. Percy will take the last half hero needs. We'll all take it in turns to guard hero. To Percy tomorrow, said Diesel. It will be alright. Don't worry, sir. Said Percy. Thank you. We'll be right back to the movie called Orange and Skull, Hero of the Whales. And now back to the movie called Orange and Skull, Hero of the Whales. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the movie. Orange and Skull, Hero of the Whales. Don, we broke across the island of Soda. Thomas is up to. Spencer was looking for clues. He looked behind bushes. He steamed down sidings and puffed closer and closer to Hero's hiding place. Suddenly, Spencer whistled long then how. What's this I found, says Spencer? Thomas, Miss Hood Spencer, and Connor and Diesel Hood Spencer, they pumped their pistons. When I, I found Percy's mail cars, they must be part of Tricky Thomas's tricks. Suddenly, Connor and Diesel steamed out. Spencer turned too close to Hero. Connor blew his whistle, and Diesel honked his horn. Together, they chased the mighty Spencer down the track. And they're away from the hero. The free engine horse and waits in the junction. Thomas, Thomas Chuck Spencer. Spencer. Spencer was blocked. Spencer was blocked. Couldn't he couldn't puff forwards and he couldn't puff backwards. 
and he had pussy's mail calls. Spencer, why did you take pussy's mail calls? You were caused confusion and delay. But I didn't take them, so I'm not interested in your excuses, Spencer. Find Percy and give him back his mail calls. At once. I won't let Thomas get away with this. That means he was waiting for Thomas and Connor. They were excited. The fine box came in their steam swirled. Percy will be here soon with your water injector. It's the last part you need to make enough steam. I wonder if the top and half will have seen any pictures of me. Of course he will. I'm so happy, the hero. I have waited a long time. Suddenly, there was a strong loud whistle. Spencer! So Thomas, oh no, it was a Connor. He found us and helped Thomas and Connor. Spencer will make sure I'm sent to the smelter's yard. No, he won't! On the tracks. Following Thomas Payne, Connor's steam awakening Spencer. He was steaming down the tracks. And he was standing in the kitchen in the boiler bubble. Well, again, here! Thank you, Thomas. No! Spencer is a Connor, Thomas. Which way from Spencer? Then Spencer saw Hero and gasped. Spencer had never seen an engine as strange as Hero before. Who are you? Hero! So Thomas and Connor. Thomas! That engine is can't even pop properly. Hero's engine started the crowd up. He steamed down uh, and his cylinders creaked. Hero was worried. At the last end, the car, Hero could always run it at the Hero Hero's lamp had hit Spencer and broke it. Now Hero's engine had run it at the door. It was hung out and then ran down to the track. Don't worry, Hero, said Thomas. You can do it, said Thomas. Yeah, said Connor. Thomas and Connor helped me. The harder Hero will have, the worse he's wobbled. He puffed the heroes of Thomas and Connor, more than Connor and the heroes entered. Thomas! Connor! You can do it, heroes! said Thomas. I don't think he can, said Spencer. Hero knew Spencer was right. The master of the railway he was much more a uh, post grad. Hero. Huh? Is this, what is this what you've been doing, doing Thomas and Connor, making a heap of scrap for the smelter's yard? Because that's the only thing that this engine's good for, said Spencer. So Top and Hat will make sure of that. Thomas and Connor felt terrible. They had worked so hard to mend Hero, but they had let Hero down. How can we stop Hero going to smelter's yard now, said Connor? Yeah, said Thomas. Then. Thomas and Connor heard another whistle. It was Diesel and the coaches. We'll race you to Mayfield, slow poke Spencer. We will win, said Diesel. Yeah, said Batman. Spencer was a pine. He saw Diesel thundering with the coaches. Oh no, we won't. We can out. Mm. Spencer steamed after Diesel. His final flare and his wheels whirl. They didn't see Thomas and Connor working down the smaller track. Don't worry, hero. We'll hide you down here. Everything will be all right, said Thomas. Yeah, said Connor. But poor hero looks sadder than ever. These are ways towards me, wait, Head from Spencer. Spencer was out of the pup. Percy's mail calls right on behind him. I won, said Diesel. I told you I would. Before Spencer could ease his axles, the doors of the express swung open. The Duke and Duchess of Boxwood stamped out. They were crossed. Fumbling fenders. Spencer. 
You have let us, let us down. down. We left you, we left you in charge of our, of our summer house. And it's not ready, ready for our holiday yet. Our friends, the top of the said, you spend all day watching Thomas and Connor and taking a real cars that aren't yours. You told, me you told me you were taking them back to Percy, and you haven't. And you haven't. Spencer's, pride Spencer's pride was in pieces. They have a very they old engine, engine and, heap and heap of scrap in fact. I was chasing it because it fact should happen. You should please, Spencer, stop, stop. chasing, chasing engines, engines that are a heap of scrap. We'll have, we'll have to send, send you back, back to the, the mainland. mainland. It's, quite it's quite clear, though. You're not, You're not fit to work. To work. Please, may, Please help. may we help? Sakana, we can work with Spencer at Summer House, Sir Thomas. I'm sure together, together we can have a wedding in time. The Duke and Duchess were delighted. Thank you, Thomas, Thank you, Thomas and Connor. That most kind of you two. Please, keep an eye on Spencer. He's clearly not feeling well. Spencer, we shouldn't steam. It was all, it was too, all terrible. too terrible. It was getting, it was getting late, late, and Thomas and Connor chuffed to see Hero. Hero was very, Hero sad. Was very sad. You did everything you could to fix me, Thomas and Connor. I know now I will be sent to the smelter's yard. No! No, you won't, no, you won't Sir Connor. Won't yeah, Sir Thomas, we won't, we won't let that happen to you, we Don't promise. Give Don't give up, Sir Thomas. And Thomas and Connor steam sadly away to Tidbiff. All the engines were worried about you. And Cross with Spencer. Cross with Spencer. I'm sorry, we I left my mail we left our so mail close to Hero. I didn't know he was Hero. there. He didn't know he was it there, so Percy. Like it looked like a very place. good hiding place. Don't worry, Don't Percy. Don't worry, Percy, said Thomas. We all did, we our, all best. did our best. What should we do now? What should now? we do now? Said I'm going to I'm tell, going to tell Sir Thomas. Thomas. Why? Why? Said Connor.